Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure the 2007 Nissan Serena that just came in. It's got almost 69,000 kilometers on it, which is about 43,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price is in on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Serena is, a, is an 8-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. So the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that until next April or May. Now, do, you do have two choices uh, to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce our overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was lecturing on the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So you want to keep this dash as cool as possible. Okay, let's jump on in. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty, which not too bad. Now, if it has this little metal plate there, you want to keep that in a safe place because if you lose your uh, key fob, that's going to help you replace it. So key fob on your purse, you're just going to crank it over as if the key was already inside there, okay? Let's get this in here. 68,704 on the odometer. Should turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Show you a couple of warning lights. That one on the left, that circular one, is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. The one to the uh, right of that, that obviously your seatbelt. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Okay, let me put my hand through here. And then let me just see. So, um, yeah, turn this off. All right. So I want you to look at this area right, right here. You're going to see a blue um, symbol. All right. So you see the blue and the red. So the blue is going to uh, be on when the engine's cool. So we just got this in. So the engine was running. So that's why it's off. It's uh, let me lower this fan just a little. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool, and it's going to remain on. That's normal. When it uh, warms up, it's going to go off like it is now. That's normal. Then it's going to be the red one if it's uh, overheating. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. But anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, and take the necessary action, especially if it's red. Please pull over immediately and find out uh, what it is and uh, take the necessary action. All right. Off to the left here, you have your monitor. This one does have a rear camera, and then it looks like it has a, a, a side camera as well. Let me extend those mirrors out. So, okay, it looks like that mirror is broken, so we're going to get that fixed. But you'll be able to park with the inch of the curb, okay? All right. And then you have your radio, your air conditioning controls, just a little uh, tray here for whatever you need it for, your remote or some change, cup holders, a little box for storage, and a power outlet. And it looks like it has a, a an outlet here as well, okay? Off the left here, you'd have your uh, two tier glove box. And then a little bit of space and cup holder on each door panel okay that is your passenger space over there you have your red road flare hanging out and this is the space i have on my side i am uh, 511 as everybody loves knowing and the seat is all the way back and all the way down uh i could i'm pretty comfortable right where i am uh no sunglass compartment to uh, show you but let's go eye level that's my eye level right there really can't see the passive windshield wipers like on most vehicles all the way back now normally I take this time to show the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident non vehicle graded from the auctions up, up in the mainland. Okay? Uh, all these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office to have been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on a sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to discredit it. Uh, discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back, uh, second row. It does look like it has an aftermarket um, uh, dash camera up there. On the right side of the dash here, you have your uh, mirror controls. You have the dual power sliding doors. 
I'm gonna have to open the door for this one. And then you have your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. I know it says collection, I like saying uh, collector. Uh, but uh, this is uh, works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then please don't forget you have your two uh, levers down here. The one on the right is your gas cover release. The one on the left is your hood release. And then on the door panel you have your door lock and um, window controls right here. All right, so let's uh, turn this off and let's head to the second row. Okay, just gonna pull this. It's gonna open. Now you see this is on a rail system, so you can go ahead and slide this up depending on how much space you need in the back. And then this one, this piece, you can actually slide all the way forward. It doesn't make it a three passenger, and it did have armrest that I forgot. But you can slide this all the way forward and it's just gonna take up that space. And then you can either have this space open or this seat will actually slide over uh, and you'll still have a three passenger, okay? And all you're gonna do is push this down and there, uh, that'll give you two cup holders and just like that. So there's a lever there and there's also a lever in front. But I'm gonna keep these as is. Uh, there is a bar down here that you can uh, push this all the way back. With it all the way back, I'm a good six inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And you do also have the option of putting this uh, forward, I guess, okay? And it does have a grocery bag hook up to three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. And then it does have a, a cup holder on each door panel. It does have the vents or the control for the vents and air conditioning back here, so you want to make sure that's on high. And it does have vents that go all the way back. So you want to make sure that they're facing the right way, that they're not closed. This way you're uh, going to cool down a car a lot quicker. It looks like it has, an, uh, looks like it has a, um, an entertainment package. I don't even, this is the first time I've seen one like this because it's going to have to, maybe it's the remote that, or no, it's this remote. Yep, monitor. So I'm not sure if it works. I don't have my test DVDs, but we'll have to see, okay? And then, ooh, what's this? Oh, that's nothing, but but you go ahead and you you could actually uh, just use this lever and that's gonna slide so you can get your uh, passengers in the back. Push that back and down, pull this out. Let's go to the back here, show you. The, this is the Highway Star Edition, it looks like Urban Selection, maybe because it has the uh, entertainment package in there. All right, so here's your rear. And there's a space with the seats all the way back, so it's pretty not bad for uh, with the seats all the way back. And then you have a little bit of storage and cup holder on each side, okay? Now you can uh, put these up against the side, and you can follow the diagrams. But basically you're going to put this lever right there, you're going to put this down, you're going to lift on that blue, uh, blue. <laughs> lift up, I've been out on this on too long. You're going to lift up, uh, pull that red tab, and that's going to make it go up, okay? And let's go to the front here. Show you the engine compartment, gonna wrap this video up. So here you have it, this is a two liter engine which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you have it, 2007 Nissan Serena Highway Star Edition. Um, it's got uh, almost 69,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 43,000 miles. Military prices down at 4,900, with an additional military discount, we'll get it down to uh, 4,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4700 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny Z's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program is all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months, either way we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.